Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsor, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this Saturday, we entrust ourselves to the maternal care of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us also prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist. Let us humbly beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, this saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, 
Of this, I am the foremost. But for that reason, I was mercifully treated so that in me, as the foremost, Christ Jesus might display all his patience as an example for those who would come to believe in him for everlasting life. To the King of Ages, incorruptible, invisible, the only God, honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is His glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord, our God, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust, from the dunghill, he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good. But an evil person out of a, of a store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but do not do, not do what I command? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, listens to my words, and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house, who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When the flood came, the river burst against that house, but could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who listens and does not act is like a person who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, it collapsed at once and was completely destroyed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel today, Jesus said, From the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. 
Ito yung kasabihan natin sa Tagalog. Kung anong bukang bibig, siyang laman ng dibdib. In other words, our mouth expresses what our hearts contain. Look at St. Paul in our first reading today. Look at the words of his letters. St. Paul in our first reading today proclaims God's mercy toward him. St. Paul says, God treated me mercifully. God has been very patient with me. And he proclaims that. He tells about Jesus. That reflects, his words reflect what is there in his heart. Our mouth reveals what is in our heart. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, we have to be very careful in speaking because from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Mag-iingat tayo sa pagsasalita. Mag-iingat tayo sa mga lumalabas sa ating bibig na wika. Sapagkat kung anong bukang bibig, siyang laman ng dibdib. Yes, we are free to say whatever we want. People fight for their right to expression. But let us also remember that our words are the windows to our soul. If you want to know the true character of a person, then just listen to them. Makikilala mo ang isang tao sa pamamagitan ng kanyang salita. We have to be careful because we reveal our true self by the words that we say. If you always destroy other people, when you talk about other people, when you try to show the bad side of people, then the first person you destroy is yourself. If you always gossip, then that shows who you really are. If you can gossip about other people, then who will trust you? Kung itinismis ka ng taong ito, kung nagchichismis sa sa iyo, pwedeng-pwede ka rin niyang ichismis sa ibang tao. If a person always tells lies, then that reveals who that person is, that he does not tell the truth. And even in this age of the social media, what we post, what we comment on, what we share, what we send in our text messages, all these reveal who we are. They reveal our attitude. They reveal our values. They reveal what is there in our heart. From the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Kung anong bukang bibig, siyang laman ng dibdib. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be very careful with our words because one day we will be held liable for all the words that passed from our lips. Our words could lead to our salvation, but they could also lead to our damnation.
holding on faithfully to the gospel which urges us to build our spiritual house on solid rock, let us make our prayer to the Father. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may always be seen as the steady and secure house built on strong rock foundation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in this confusing world, leaders of nations may deal with their citizens honestly and candidly, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the training and formation of young people may be grounded on the values of the kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people suffering from mental and physical anguish may remain steadfast and secure on the rock of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our departed relatives and friends may find peace and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, give us the grace to understand how our lives depend upon the goodness, honesty, and courage of fellow human beings so that we may be mindful of their needs and aware of our responsibilities. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For the overshadowing, for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs, in humble praise as we acclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank 
Laging apat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon 